Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to have a look at Workhouse Work Management System uh, in Exapunks. So let's get started with our first Exa. Now having a look at what the problem is asking us to do, it's saying locate Ember2's user file in the user's uh, host. So this is this user's host here. And overwrite it so that some of the values is the same, but no individual value exceeds 75. So let's see what they mean. Uh, so we can see this file here, 300, has a value of normal human in it. It wants us to go into this secure host here uh, and then look up this value here, so in normal human, and then look up its user's ID. So its user's ID is 249, right here. And 249 has uh, some value here, some date, and then a bunch of values. And supposedly all these values will add up to, um, add up to some kind of sum, and then they want us to replace this sum with 75 blocks. So if we have a look at what the solution wants to look like, it's, it's the same, it's just sums of 75 instead. Uh, it also says that uh, the sum of the values will always be less than 10,000. So this just indicates that we're able to store the sum as we go in our X register because the game allows values of up to 9999 to be stored in registers. So we know we're safe to go that method. So let's get started. Now we're going to copy in the username to start with. Um, to do that we're going to grab 300 which will pick the file up we're standing right next to here and we're going to then copy the contents of the file into our X register and drop the file and then link into the 800 host here so if we run it again oops. so if we run it see how that goes there we go we're in the secure host so we move on to the next step we want to extract the ID from the file. So we need to loop through this file here until we find the ID that's in our register X. And then we're going to, I suppose, we'll probably seek forward and then grab this ID. So let's do that. We're going to grab 199, so it's going to pick the file up. We're going to create a new loop. We're going to call it ID loop. And then we're going to test to see if the value we're sitting on in the file is equal to our X register. Remember, the contents of our X register right now are normal human. So we are going to keep on going until we find that entry. And in order to make that happen, we're going to do a false, um, or jump if it's false, back to ID loop. So we're just going to keep on looping until we land on the value we want. Then what we're going to have to do is seek forward one, because when we find the value we want, we want to jump over this field, whatever that is, I think that's password, and then we want to land on this ID, so we're going to seek forward once. The reason why I'm not doing a seek2, again, is because when you read from the F register, you automatically increment to the next one anyway. So we're going to be on there, seeking to here. Cool. Now we're going to copy the contents of the file into our X register, then drop it, and then link to 799. So we're going to land in the user's host here. And again, I have no space. Cool. Next is we need to basically tally the count. So do a tally count. This is going to basically require us to seek forward until we get the first value and then continue to iterate over these adding up the values into our X register uh, and then I guess while we're at it we can remove the values as we go so we will do that. We're going to do a grab X so X relates to the user's host because we already stored value 249 in our X register we're going to pick up the host X Oh, sorry, the file, X. And we're going to override our X register so we can use it for something else. We're going to just put the value of 0 into it. And then we're going to seek forward twice. So we're on the starting value here, or 417. Next, I'm going to, I'm going to mark the count loop, because we're going to need a loop. And I'm going to add to our X register the value of the file, or the file register that we're currently sitting on. In this case, it's going to be 417. Then I'm going to seek backwards once because I want to remove that value that I just put in our register. And I'm going to do that by going void f. So this is going to remove 417 once it's been added to our x register. And then finally I'm going to test to see if we're at the end of the file. And if we're not at the end of the file yet, I'm going to do a function jump basically back up to this loop here. So we're just going to keep looping over until we have effectively emptied the file out and then filled the X register up with our sum 
So we'll just to make sure this all works. Okay, cool. And yeah, we are removing the values as we go, and we can we can see the X-ray just slowly filling up, which is amazing. But when we get to the end, it's going to run out of steps, so we need to finish this program off. So finally, we need to handle the case of basically putting the values back in in 75 part chunks. So to do this, I'm going to do I'm going to create a new marker that's going to check to see if if we have 75 that we can put in. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to do a mark append loop, and I'm going to test to see if the X register is greater than 75. So the approach I'm going to take is I'm going to see if X register X still has 75 left in it. If it does, we're going to uh, we're going to subtract 75, but I can't do that here. So I'm going to create a new um, I'm going to create a new function that handles that specifically. So I'm going to do a I'm going to call it mark append. I'm going to copy in 75 to the file, and then I'm going to subtract from the X register 75 and put it back into X. And then we're going to jump straight back into append loop. So all this is going to do is just add 75 to our file and then subtract 75 from our register and then jump back into this main append loop here. So we're basically going to say as long as we are greater than 75 then we're going to jump to our append loop that we just wrote. And then if not so basically if we have 74 or 75 if we have less than 75 left in our register then we're going to do a copy of the register into the file and then hold the program I think this is everything we need um, should see it empty and then start to fill up 75s looking good and then when we run out of values in our X register it's just going to put the remainder into the file and close everything off and I think that's challenge over yep so I'm just going to make sure this runs on all the different sequences Awesome, looks like that worked great. I'll see you in the next one.